Hi, welcome to Fit for a Feast. My name is Sloan. And my name is Katrina. And today here at Fit for a Feast, we are at the Pulse Dance Convention in downtown Toronto. So we're here with Carmi. What's your role with the Pulse? Well, I'm like the host, the MC. I kind of help run the day and put all the choreographers on stage, take them off and make announcements and also uh, do the showcase at night. There's a scholarship ceremony on Sunday and of course the welcome intro in the morning, which is sort of the biggest, funnest thing to get everybody pumped up for the weekend. So how did you get involved with it? Um, well, I kind of grew up in the industry with all the faculty members. You know, every one of them I have uh, an experience of dancing or working in the industry with and I feel like we've come up together and we're friends we're a family really and that's what makes this convention so special because it's a family environment a family vibe and then it's so cool that the dancers that come every weekend or to different cities become part of the family so um, we hope that everybody who comes to the Pulse will come again and become part of the Pulse family. So do you have a dancing background or singing background? I have um, both. My parents were entertainers. They worked in the industry. I kind of grew up around it. My, dan my dad danced with Elvis and on Broadway. My mom modeled and danced and they did movies together and they had a dance company that toured uh, for 14 years uh, and I was born like in the middle of that. So I kind of grew up on tour. Um, and around performance all the time. So it just was something that was second nature. I danced all my life. My mom says I was dancing before I was walking and um, I did gymnastics too. My mom said I was always on my hands more than I was my feet. So I started off in artistic uh, probably when I was like five-ish. And, um, and then I moved into rhythmic gymnastics when I was 10 and I competed internationally. I went to world championships and I was fifth at Olympic trials, but I was dancing all along. And then when I moved into my dance career, the rhythmic gymnastics gave me an edge. You know, I was able to do tricks that nobody else was doing. Or if they said, anybody have a specialty act, I would pull out my ribbon or my hoop, you know, and, and then it was really, really cool. Um, so, you know, I had a great career. I'm thankful for my career in dancing. I worked with a lot of amazing artists and then I was part of the Pussycat Dolls, the original group. Um, in 95, we started doing an underground show. It was something we did for fun on the side. And we had a lot of guest celebrities, and I had been choreographing for No Doubt, and I brought in Gwen Stefani, and she brought us to her record label. So we got a deal over there, which was amazing, which kind of turned the whole next chapter of the Pussycat Dolls into something completely different than it was because originally it was a burlesque dance group and then it turned into a recording group and um, thankfully you know I had my training singing I'd always been practicing everything you know taking sight singing and music I played piano and viola and you know just if you love the arts you kind of do it all right it's fun and then you never know what your path is going to end up being and I was so lucky to be a part of that pop group and have those experiences and travel all over the world and now be back to my roots which is my dance family. So, so how did you get into the Corsi Cat Dolls? Um, I actually worked with uh, this woman named Robin in, on a dance job and she had an idea for a burlesque inspired show, a dance show. It wasn't called Corsi Cat Dolls in the beginning and we um, did a couple shows around town for a while that it wasn't the Pussycat Dolls, you know? And then uh, Johnny Depp saw the show and loved it and we ended up having a home at the Viper Room for a while and that was kind of where we lived for about eight years. And um, it was fun. It was just kind of something we did for the love of it. Don't you, don't you wish your girlfriend was wrong? How long have you been with us? This is my second season. Last season was my first season and I was pregnant and I had a baby. <laughs> so what words of inspiration would you tell kids who are watching this? Well, first and foremost, any kind of physical activity is great. You know, obviously we love dancing and gymnastics and things like that, but just to get your body moving and going is obviously healthy for you, right? And especially dance is a form of expression. And, you know, a lot of people 
come up to me and go, oh, I used to dance, I wish I still dance, you know? And it's like, it's never too late to start dancing. But if you're young and you start doing it, you just, you get better at it. It's like practice makes perfect, right? So um, I just think dance is like the coolest form of expression and way to get exercise and be fit and be healthy. And so I, I would tell anybody to take a dance class, even if it's for fun. It's not, it doesn't have to be professional, you know? Okay, so can adults come to the Pulse? Yes, they can, absolutely. We have different age ranges. We have um, an intermediate level that's like from 8 to kind of 13. Then we have advanced, you know, it's kind of the middle ground and age range and then inter and then advanced pro, which is sort of the older kids too. So it's not just by level, it's by ages. And then, as, yeah, it can absolutely be adults. I have a lot of friends that or dancers that come back on certain weekends and take class and, you know, it's it's super fun. And I even take class on the side sometimes too. <laughs> like trying to learn the combination, like I run to the next room and put somebody on. And But it's it's awesome, it's a, it's a great vibe here, so. So everything you've said sounds so cool and thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for having me. Have a great weekend with classes. Thank you. Thanks, Amy. <laughs>